Up next on The Burrow, join us as we take a journey into the world of natural healing and wellness with the modern herbal apothecary. Discover the secrets of the ancient practice of herbal medicine as we follow our expert herbalist, Liani Powers, on a quest to help people heal naturally using the power of plants and herbs. Liani, you have a beautiful shop. How'd you get started here? Well, thank you. Uh, we started here about three years ago, mm -hmm. and I was looking for quality herbs, and I couldn't find it at the time. I was like, very pregnant, and I couldn't find the things that I needed to support me. So often when I can't find something, I'll just build it. You just do it yourself. I'll just, I like that. So what exactly do you build here? So I built an apothecary, and I know a lot of people don't know what an apothecary is, but it is basically just a storehouse for herbs, spices. We have over 200. We also have a lot of plant-based beauty and tinctures and all kinds of like yummy little food decor items. So how did you get started in this business? Because like you said, a lot of people don't know about it. So how did you kind of wander into this path? So. I've lived many lives, mm -hmm. but this one was my favorite, so I decided to extend it even longer. I started off in fashion, and I had some health challenges, and I wanted to make sure that I could support myself in the best way. Right. I was able to train underneath my grandmothers, who were amazing healers and farmers, and I kind of like took that and went to a more structured form of study and studied clinical herbalism and ethnobotany and just fell deeply in love with it and wanted to share it with the world. What typically brings someone into your shop? Well, it could be just about anything ranging from a cold to arthritis. And when they come in, sometimes they don't really know what they're looking at, which we definitely anticipate. We've been studying this a long time. We love to engage in those conversations and have like a good amount of like client education. We want you to feel comfortable. We want you to feel seen and supported. Well, that already sounds like a different experience than most stores you're going to, or like even a pharmacy or drugstore you're going in. You know, you go in, you tell them the symptom real quick and you get you get something quick. This is gonna kind of be like a, a definitely personalized experience, it sounds like. Yeah, that's what our aim is, because we want you to be collaborative in your health. We want us to work on it together. We have a lot of regulars, and we love when they come through the door. It's always a party. Yeah. And we love showing them new things and different things that they can try, and it's always fun. So what do you think sets you apart from other businesses in the area? Well, hmm, I think that we have a very unique offering. And I think that we have a, a very unique uh, wisdom base here. We have, we're pulling from a lot of like old traditions from my family and from some of the families of the people that work here. And then some of the studying that we've done, we've had amazing teachers here. So we're really happy and honored really to offer that to everybody here in Hillsboro. I love that, teachers. And then obviously you probably partner with other people in the community. We do, and we have a lot of really fun workshops. We're having a soap making class coming up here in the next couple months. And we also have like intro to herbalism courses, and we also have doula services. I noticed you have custom blended honeys. Yes. Tell me about those. So that's another collaboration we have. Uh, we have some amazing and very busy beehives oh. in the back, and we collaborate with Queen and Colony. They help oh, us yeah. take care of our hives. And we use that honey and we call it super local because you can't get more local than right here. And we use that honey to make really tasty and also purposeful blends. I love it. Collaboration, things to do, partnerships, and just a beautiful store and ways to feel better. Yeah. I mean, it seems like you've hit the mark. If you had to give advice to someone in Hillsborough County to start a new business, what would your advice be to them? Don't be scared, just do it. Often I think that a lot of people will over plan and overthink and of course you want to have a structured plan, but go ahead and get started. It's worth it. You really do have a wonderful shop. Could we now try making my own custom blended tea? Yeah. All right, so what are we gonna blend? All right, so this is gonna be a custom tea blend. Okay. We're gonna mix some orange. And that's just for vitamin C and for taste. Okay. We're also gonna mix rose hips, which is also for taste. They're super yummy and very high in vitamin C as well. Okay. And lemongrass. And I chose lemongrass because it's about to be mosquito season. And believe it or not, when you drink lemongrass, some of the volatile oils that are in there come out through your skin. It's a pleasant smell, but mosquitoes don't like it. I like that. That's very good. Let's do that. All right, so we're just gonna add a touch of orange. And you have so many choices. I mean, how many different types of teas could you make? Oh, so many. <laughs> That's the fun though, because you're always coming up with new recipes in here. 
You can play and play and play. And then someone comes in and says, I've got, I don't know, what do people come in with? A like, host of different things, uh, really a lot of PCOS, a lot of um, like arthritis. We have a lot of like just people wanting to kind of get like a fresh start. They're feeling sluggish. They want to quote unquote detox. Like there's different things like that people come in, but I'm always excited when um, someone comes in and they're doing something new for the first time. Yeah, or something themselves. Yeah, and yeah. we can kind of walk through it together. I love it. So for arthritis, what would what would someone, what would you recommend? So we always try to go with things that kind of like help support lymph and like movement and circulation, just to <laughs> kind of help clear out the joints. So things like burdock and things like that. And we just it give it a little, yeah, it does smell good, it smells real good. I mean, it smells fantastic. And we just mix it up like that. And if we're just making a small cup of tea, then we can just use one of our infusers. So we just pop the infuser in there. Okay. And then, this is about two teaspoons. I mean, you've done it so much, you can eyeball it. I love it. And I eyeball it. I also like a strong cup of tea. Yeah, I do too. I like a little flavor. And then you just add your boiling water. Well, I think that cup is perfect, and I think you can buy it in here, can't you? Yes, you can, but I picked magic this one for you. Maker. That's right, Magic Maker. I picked this one for you, though. I love it. How did you grow up learning about all the herbs and spices? I mean, I think you mentioned your grandparents. Yes, I have some amazing grandmothers, um, and they taught me a lot. So they were farmers, and they always had kind of like that healing mentality of whatever you need is right outside the door. We right. had like kitchen gardens and like healing gardens and you'd go out there and grab something for whatever ails you, quote unquote. Yeah. Um, and one of them was a, was a midwife. And that's kind of what fueled my love of like doula and birth work and kind of just kind of creating this offering for people. I love that. It's kind of a come full circle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I, I like the fact that we are able here to kind of like give give a lot of recognition to the wisdom that came, you know, from a lot of folk healers, but we're also really big proponents of collaborative care and like mixing in new technology in modern days. So we we love the blend of science and herbs. And I think that's perfect because I think that is something we all kind of have to aspire to be. I mean, as we, you know, grow up and learn and, you know, we're exposed to different technologies, but you don't want to lose that tradition and that and that culture that we were brought up and you kind of want to blend them together. And I think you're doing a perfect job at doing that. That was really the inspiration of the name Modern Apothecary. I love it. Thanks. I love it. You're doing a great job. Thank you. All right. We think it's ready. Yeah. So it's been about the right amount of time, about 10 minutes. And you can kind of see like everything's kind of like wilted down. Oh yeah. And your orange is looking more orangey. And you just kind of want to like press it out. And it smells fantastic. And you see that your water has good color. Now, do you like sweet tea? Do you like it's it? sweet? It's not real sweet. Not real sweet. It's a lot of sugar. Well, we don't need the beans honey here. Yeah, I love <laughs> honey. I love honey, but I still don't use a lot of honey. I okay. like, yeah. All right, well, let's just go. Here you go. Let's try it without it. Oh, that's good. Good. Yeah. And this blend I really like because you can keep it in the fridge and you kind of drink it throughout the day. It doesn't have to be hot. Oh, I love that. Yeah, this would be great iced. Yeah. Modern Herbal Apothecary is my cup of tea. Now go out and explore the burrow. <laughs>